kindly subscribe to the channel for more updates. There is something you must add. What you must add must be what? The two what? Red eye. You understand? So you have to add this, add that, and then of course, add the length of what? Add what? If, if it is for the minor sector. If it is a major sector, you must add this, add this, and of course, what? The length of what? The major what? Sector. Is that understood? So the parameters of these two items are not the same. Now, let's start with the first one. Alright? The perimeter of what? Major what? Sector what? A, B. Alright? Huh? What do we do? We simply add what? Length of what? Length of what? Major at what? A, B plus what? Eh? Two, two times what? The radio. Do you see that? Huh? What would that mean? Alright? At A, B plus what? Two what? Two R. Do you get that? Now, what do we do next? But we know that A, B is simply what? Length of what? A major what? Ah, two of us. What's the length of a major arc? Three sixty minus theta over what? Over three sixty times two pi r. Put this in brackets. Plus what? Two r. Do you see that? Are you getting me? Two r because. There's a radius like the region bounded, uh, the boundaries include this radius, this radius, and of course, what the entire length from what? From A to what? B or B to A. You understand? So that is what you need to look at. Are you getting me? Good. So we can then consider what? I'm to say length of. Perimeter of a major sector is simply what? 2R plus what? 360 minus theta over 360 times what? 2 pi R. Are you okay? Fortunately, this is my boundary is appearing. Write it properly. Times what? 2 pi r. And that is what we are certainly looking at. Do you see that? Okay? Do you see that? But of course, let us not leave out the other formula, which is what? Pi what? Pi d. You understand? You can also look at that one too. Now, I want you to also analyze something. What if I was given diameter? Don't waste your time. Alright? Huh? But D is equal to what? 2R. You understand? So we can also say that perimeter of a major what? Sector is simply equal to what? 2R means what? That's what? D. Plus what? 360 minus theta times what? Pi what? Pi d. This is also another formula. You can what? Equally use. Is that okay? Are you getting me? Now, let's focus on the minor 
the minor circuits. I'm oh, sorry, the minor was up. Of a minor sector. Perimeter of what? A minor sector. Perimeter of a minor sector. As you can see here, this region bounded by line OA and line OB, then of course the arc AB is what? A minor what? Sector, right? So how do I find the perimeter of this? Similarly, we also have what? Now, perimeter of a minor sector, all right, is also gotten by. So let's use the sector, uh, sector uh, A O B. Okay. Of course, this way that not so. Can say simply say this is a radius. Ah, not so. And this is another what? Radius. All right. Or better still, to make my instruction easier, simply what? A O plus what? O B plus what? A what? A B. But what is A O? A O is what? It's a radius. True or false? What of O B? O B is also what? A radius. And what is this? A minor what? A, ah, not so. And that is what? Theta over 360 times what? 2 pi what? What does that give us? 2R plus theta over 360 times 2 pi R. Do you get that? So you can now therefore say that Perimeter of a sector is simply equal to what? 2R plus theta over 360 times what? 2 pi R Is that okay? Are you seeing it? Alright that's wonderful. So, this is one of the formulas. Again, we know that. Again, we know that what? D is equal to what? 2R. Not so. So that will imply that. Perimeter of the what? Alright, please, I was supposed to put mine on here. Alright. Perimeter of a minor what? A minor sector. Okay? So we know that perimeter of a minor sector is going to be equal to what? What is 2R? D. Plus what? Theta over 360 times what? Pi D because we see we also get two R from this place as well. Do you get that? Uh -huh. So this is these are the formulas you need in dealing with perimeters of what of a sector. Whether it's a major or a minor. Are you okay? So we can call this one. This is formula number what. Number one. This is formula number what? Number two. This is what? Formula number what? Three. And of course, this is formula number what? Four. I hope it's clear. Perimeter is simply what? The total distance round the figure. Through of course, the play figure. So, if it's a major arc, so in the metal sector, you simply add this to this, and of course, the distance from here to here. Do you understand? Huh? So that's
that's why we have here uh, two R. Do you get that? Because this plus this gives you what? Two R. And what is A B? The method at A B is simply gotten by what? Using this formula here. 360 minus theta over 360 times 2 pi r. And of course, you then add your 2 r to it to give you your total perimeter. That is very, very easy. Two of us. Is it difficult? Yes, sir. All right. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. So, in the diagram, A is the center of the circle with radius 20 centimeters. In the angle BAC is what? 90 degrees, right? Supposed to be the angle BAC. The what? The angle BAC is what? 90 degrees. Find the perimeter of the shaded sector. Let me ask you a question. Is it a minor sector or a major sector? Because the angle there is what? 90 degrees. Okay? It's less than when the angle is less than 180 degrees, it is what? Minor. A minor sector. Alright? If it is more than 180 degrees, it is what? Minor. A major sector. Alright? So we'll take note of that. If it is 180 degrees, then it is what? A semicircle. Is that okay? It's what? A semicircle. Do you understand? So let's come. Solution. Okay, please pardon me, alright? Let's come. 
Now, from this point, what do you have? This is 1 over 4, no so. Times 2, times 3.14, times what? 20. No so. At least this one just gives us what? 40. I think 4 and 20 are common factors, right? 4 here, and you have what? 5. No so. 4 and 20 is what? It's not 5. Very good. So now I have your what? 2 times 3.14 times 5 plus what? Plus 40. I think this substitution that is it, right? Now, I'm going to multiply without using calculator. If you are smart, you can do this. 2 times 4 is what? 8. Not so. 2 times 1 is what? And 2 times 3 is what? And I need to use what? My point. Times 5. Plus what? Plus 40. Not so. Alright. Proceeding further. 5 times 8 is what? So 0 remainder what? 5 times 2 is what? 10. Plus the 4 that was plus what? So I write 4 remainder what? 1. Not so. 5 times 6 is what? Plus 1. 31. How many decimal places? Are you sure it's two decimal places? I think it has what? Yeah, two decimal places. So we have here what? The point comes here. Do you see that? Plus what? 40. Now this gives you what? 71.40. Sorry, not, 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 not point 40. Point 40. Point 40. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's a point 40. Oh. Okay, so this gives you what? 71.4 71 point what? 40 centimeters. Alright. So therefore, the perimeter of what? Of the sector is what? It doesn't matter. Alright? The section is sector. It's what? 71.40 centimeters. And that is how this question is solved. Any question about that, please, before I proceed. Okay? Okay. Let's focus our attention on what? This trial. Let's focus our attention on this trial. Find the perimeter of the unshaded what sector below. You understand? <laughs> they said unshaded what sector. That's key. So some subconsciously, or should I say, overconfidently, go to rather solve for this. Eh? And they come out. You know, normally during the examination, you start discussing. Hey, what was the answer you got? Then you get to realize that you messed up. You can't do it. Alright? So, we're looking for what? Perimeter of what? The unshaded portion. And what is it? Is it a minor sector or a major sector? Major, major, major sector. So, try and solve it. After that, I also what? Solve it. Alright? Huh. So for those who are outside or the community watching it online later on, I think you can solve it today. What the answer of the comment section? Two of us. Hey, I'll observe. And of course, let's write. So as I'm saying that, I think the radius is what twenty-eight centimeters, and the angle for the minor sector is what sixty what degrees. All right. So take note of that and deal with it, please. Okay. Now let's solve it. Solution. Okay. The perimeter of a major sector is simply going to be equal to what? 360, 360 minus what? Theta over 360 times 2 pi r plus what? 2 
to R. Alright? Now, the angle given to us is what? 60. 360. Oh, sorry. Times what? 2. 22 over 7. Times what? Times 28 in brackets plus what? 2 times what? 28. Do you see that? This gives us what? 300, not so. Huh? Yes. About 360 times 70 here is 1, 70 to 28 is what? It's 4. So times 2 times 22 times what? 4. Plus 2 times of 28 gives you what? Huh? 56. Are you okay? 56. Now, simplify this for me as a fraction. That's what? This is 5 over 6 times 2 times 22 times 4 plus what? 56. Let's simplify. I think 2 here is what? 3. 2 here is 1. So now I have what? 5 over 3 times 22 times 4. Put it in brackets plus 56. Now, multiply 5 over 3 by 22 and of course by 4. What do you get? 5 times 22 is 110. Not so. Huh? Times 4 will give you what? 440 over 3 plus what? 56. Alright? When you simplify this, I'm sure you get what? 200 and what? 146. This one? Yeah, that one is wrong. How? Why is it wrong? This will give you. Ah. Divide. Divide 140 by 3. What do you get? 146.66. 146. Ah. Then plus 56 will give you the answer we are looking for. Are you okay? Yes. So please, always focus. Because sometimes this this things they can be confused. So I think the answer, the final answer is what? 200 and what? 202.6666. Alright, so 202.67 what? Centimeters. And please, I don't have to use equal sign. You have to use what? Approximately equal to. Is that okay? Because we approximated it. And if you had this answer right, then you should be clapping hands by yourself. So, once again, thank you for your what? For your time. We hope to meet again next time, okay? Alright, bye bye. God bless you.